I am too. I miss his face. I oh, forgot how heavy. fucking handsome he is. He's really handsome. It's, it's pretty absurd. He's like like most of the most of the uh, talent in, in the exit games, like they model the uh, the um like they model them the character people after the, the actors, right? And they yeah. get like a lot of the like imperfections in people's heads and so they look kinda like they look like real people, right? They aren't like, uh, you know, unrealistically handsome people. Except for Kiryu. Oh, this is so good! So welcome to fucking Yakuza 0! Uh, I love this game a lot. Uh, this was actually like the second game I wanted to do on the channel, but stuff happened. Uh, Nick, you played like, I don't know, a, a few hours? Like, like... I don't know exactly I know where I ended in the percentage. What happened was, there was there was a part where I had the time to farm money, <laughs> and it was harder for me to farm it with one character than the other, and I didn't find that out until I'd already farmed all the money I could with one of them. And then I was like, yeah. that's not... I don't... I don't like... I don't know how to deal with this. It's difficult, and then it got more difficult, and then Monster Hunter World was introduced to my life, and that's where that ends. Yeah, you told you told me that. I think what you told me was like you you had uh, you had like maxed out Kiryu basically, and then it the game switched you to Majima, where you were a wimpy little baby again, and you just bounced like you just dropped the game. <laughs> that's that sounds probable. I think I had all the fighting styles for for Majima. No, you definitely didn't have all the fighting styles for Majima. Not the not the fourth one. There was break dancing and a baseball bat. Yeah. So you got three, but he has okay. the he has the fourth one that you can unlock, which is his boss move set from every other game. Um also, Yeah. So weird this is gonna be a weird one, guys. Fucking strap in. Uh, I really like this series. I'm, I'm trying to play them to the best of my abilities. You oh! To, yes, there are two-player minigames, which is... I've never done. And they have, like, replays and stuff, but you're just gonna... Yeah. I don't think you'll need anything. Okay, I just... You can turn off subtitles? What?! Well, yeah, if you speak... Jack, I almost said Spanish. Oh my fucking god. Yes. <laughs> Kiryu, the most <laughs> famous Spanish hero of them all. <laughs> Does this eliminate my previous save? No, they just, they have multiple saves. Where am I going on this, Brent? I don't know, dude. I mean, if you want to do hard, I don't give a shit. Like, I never had any difficulty with the game, so but normal is probably fine for the purposes of an LP. Okay. I'm so excited. I remember a woman who dislocated people's shoulders and just beat the shit out of them. Mm -hmm. And there was an old man who's like British and he's like, yeah, you could be the best kid hey, if you train with boy. me. I'm drunk. The opening scene this just is, made Britain cry. Okay, so this is like the, like, so I'm not, I, I am not 100% up to date. I have not had a chance to play every single Yakuza game because I've been waiting for them to, because uh, I, I skipped out on Sony for a couple generations and also like would not. Wait, been... isn't this like a really valuable plot of dirt? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Private property, no trespassing. But okay, like this is the weirdest thing because this is Kiryu doing a Yakuza thing. And, like, in the rest of, to my knowledge, in the rest of the entire series, he never does any other Yakuza-type thing. Like, Jesus he's just Christ, busy Jonathan. Being, he's just busy being fucking anime protagonist, man. This is no Jonathan Joestar. This is fucking Jotaro. Yeah, a little bit. What did this guy do? He owed a guy money. 
<laughs> it didn't pay up. So you're working, you're working for a loan shark right at this second. So Kiryu just killed him. Well. <laughs> oh my god, that voice. Yeah, I know. Oh, oh my, it was fucking sploosh. <laughs> Is he dead though? Because his face was moving. You, you actually don't remember any of the plot. That's good. I wouldn't lie to you. You probably... I'm guessing you probably remember the goofy shit more than you remember the plot. I remember an underground women's wrestling tournament. Yeah, you do. Yeah, I do. Oh, man, there were... Oh, dude, that... They were... Okay, so, um, they, they put out a, uh... So, like, they, they remade Yakuza 1 into Yakuza Kiwami, and they used a lot of the assets from this, right? And so they reused a lot of the big minigame things. So there's there's a big side quest in this one that's about, like, racing thing. And they reused it. I do remember that, because I fucking got it. I yeah. fucking did yeah, math. I know. I had a fucking notebook. So they, they reused the wrestling minigame, but turned it into Pokemon for children. Is what it is in-universe. Hey. I shit you not. Oh fuck this and, dude! And and you show up and because the Majima Everywhere system is the greatest thing that has ever existed. You start doing that quest and Majima walks up and he's like, "This is dumb." And then you and then he you beat him at it and then he is more into it than you are. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like me and you. It is a little bit. <laughs> oh wow, his face was really good. Yeah. Dude, okay, imagine the balls on this guy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, even without everybody Why? being afraid of Kiryu. Yeah. Well, I mean, just, that dude is nobody. so much taller than him. Yeah. He's taller and he's well, obviously Well, he's with all buff. his buddies. I can't believe Kiryu d didn't feel it. And he's got, he's got a Yakuza pin on! Why would you fuck with the guy that got a Yakuza pin on? Because I don't know what a Yakuza pin looks okay, like. Okay, right so so on his on his uh, on his thing on uh, uh, his left left lapel, he has a pin that is a Yakuza pin. So that is a visual indicator to everyone in the world that he works for the Yakuza and is not to be fucked with. So How why they would go? Pin? I need to fuck with because Japan is weird with Yakuza. That'd be so cool. Like, like, the Yakuza have offices. You can just go to the Yakuza office and apply. When did we start playing a visual novel? <laughs> uh, it's when they ran out of budget. <laughs> Fair enough. This is, this is uh, one of those ways that they had to cut down on, on the cash, because they, they do a lot of cutscenes that were animated, and a... This is kind of a nicer in-between because they have a lot of, of cutscenes that are like fully animated and they're nice and they've got voice acting and stuff. But then they've got cutscenes where it's just two guys sitting stone, like still in a room talking with text boxes going on underneath. And this is a nicer alternative. Yeah. I don't remember... I don't remember the specifics of uh, why Kiryu worked for this guy specifically. Like, why specifically Kiryu? I think it might have... I like this loan shark. He seems pretty nice. <laughs> he's, trying to, he's trying to get an employee. <sighs> oh man, video games have made it really hard on me lately. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this game's gonna be rough on you, huh? Yeah. Nick Nick has quit smoking in the past year. Like he hasn't he hasn't made a full lap of a year, but he's pretty close. Uh, this <laughs> didn't you tell me that this game like you tried to stop you tried to quit earlier? I had successfully not smoked for a month. I had zero cravings, and then we started. I started playing this game. Yeah, and I was like, you know what, man, I fucking need a cigarette, and then nobody was around to stop me. <laughs> But now you're now you have a support structure. Yeah. It's always important to have a support structure. Yeah. It is. <laughs> That's quite a claim. Yeah, it is. That's 
Honestly, you know what? That might be too much. Like, I could deal with the feast thing, but, like, every night? Yeah. Sex, like, with one person every night can be... Like, eventually, that could be... That'd be a lot. Like... Yeah. And you need... You fucking like the water, and then yeah. you gotta wake up early in the morning. Gatorade. Well, not if you're a, not if you're a fucking working for a loan shark, I guess. <laughs> They, they mostly do their work at night. Then when are you supposed to have sex? At night, on the clock. Jesus. He didn't specify who the orgy was with. It's probably with him. Oh, my. <laughs> He's like, every night I fuck you in the ass. Very hard. Yeah. Every night. And that's the dogs fighting over a dental floss uh, rope. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like him anymore. The guy got the guy got weird. Yeah. Is he smoking menthols? I don't know. I don't I don't know the breeds of cigarettes and at this point I'm too scared to ask. Uh, the white filter makes it look like a, a menthol. So yes, this takes place in I believe it's nineteen eighty four. It was said eighty eight. Eighty eight? Okay. Yeah. Uh <clears throat> which is an odd one for Yakuza because most of the most of the rest of the Yakuza games are actually like Contemporary, like uh, <coughs> the the one that's coming out, the the new one. It's I'm gonna call it Yakuza Seven, even though it's not actually dragons. It's, it's, it's called Yakuza. It's called Yakuza Like a Dragon. Yeah, it's a soft reboot. Dragon uh, Age. It's um, for Dragon Quest. That one. That one's um, like I'm pretty sure that one will be set. It's coming out in 2019. I'm pretty sure it's going to be set in 2019. Oh, okay. Like like all of them have come out in the year that they came out in. Or they're set in the air. Um, and most of them are Christmas games, in the same way that uh, Die Hard is a Christmas movie. It happens around Christmas? Well, yes, the, um... I know for a fact one and two, one is like Christmas week, and then two takes place almost exactly a year after. So that one's also a Christmas game. I think four is as well. I'm not familiar with three because... Oh, look, a pager. Yes! <laughs> Oh man, I bet Vinny would be. I bet my little brother would be like, "What the fuck is that?" I I had a conversation with uh, a supervisor at a job I once had, and she's only like, like, she's only like ten years older than me or something. And she used to talk about how like they like her generation used pagers like uh, like basically to text. Yeah. And it's and I was like, "You what? Excuse me? What?" And she tried to explain it, and it was weird. Yeah, it's weird how you would page people. Oh, look, it's Ninja Gaiden. Yeah. Yes. 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 Oh, I'm so happy to be playing this. This is just a good time. Like, I'm relaxed. Yeah. This game's... It's just fun and good. <sighs> and out of... Oh, yeah. This is why Nishiki said he'd meet me. No, we're not doing you. voices. 724106, that's code for what's up to? Uh, the, the... What's your 106, I guess? I don't know. Wait for your slow ass to show up. Pow, pow. I'm Kiryu. Might as well have a look around and see if <laughs> I can find him. We're not doing this. There's two... Nick, find there's, Nishikiyama! Nick, we can't do that. I can't. I can do whatever I want. What's up, bitch? What's up? Nick, what's, it, up? what's up? What's up? What's up? God damn, I'm like strong. It, like, if you do... Like, okay. okay but actually, Yakuza... Okay. It took us almost a hundred episodes to do Ace Attorney because we were reading every single line. This game is so much longer than Ace Attorney. We can't. We cannot. Yeah, I know. People are just going to have to either read or listen to what <coughs> we're saying and, and just guesstimate based on content. <coughs> Sorry about all that noise. Ura! <laughs> Ura! Oh man, I needed to watch, uh, I needed to look at the dub of, uh, My Hero Academia, because I forgot to do it, because it's like the, um, in the, in the bit where they're, they're doing the, the Sasuke retrieval arc, except it's Bakugo, uh, they, there's that moment where he, like, like, they get disguised, and, uh, Deku is, like dressed up like a tough guy and he's doing like kura, kura, in the Japanese yeah. and I want to know what the dub did with that 
Like, did they give him like a "Hey, I'm walking here" type thing? Yeah, actually, or... basically. <laughs> He's got the pin. Oh my god, he looks like a cholo. <laughs> what the fuck? The, the 80s in Japan were weird. Yeah, they were. Actually, I think that there's... Uh, okay, in... in hmm. Okay, I know that in Yakuza 1, it turns out that there are like three kind of gangs that sort of low-key are the big gangs outside of the Yakuza in the town, and they're like associated with colors. But that's like, that's like 10 years from now. So I don't know. Do your combo. No, you're supposed to do your combo. I was. No, now do a combo. Okay. It's just, yeah, light and strong. Yeah, that's the good shit. The, the combat in this game is so fucking satisfying. Yeah, it is. And you get, you get a different cool move based on when you do your, your finisher. It's so good. And you get to grab guys. Oh, it's so much fun. Oh, that dude's got heat. No, do grab. No, do grab. I will. Like, they literally... Nick, they don't have a health bar until you finish the tutorial. Oh. I don't know what you thought you were doing. Teach these punks a lesson! Okay. If you get Do it, you it. Just strike back right away with whatever. Now Jesus just get Christ. Can we not? Can we not? Oh, but you don't get heat yet. Oh man, he's a little. Oh. <laughs> That's the good throw. I really like that one because he just goes like like he just goes your leg goes out and your face goes down. I love it. There's some real Oh, fun Mr. Shakedown. Yeah. Oh no. Mr. Shakedown is like the most intense thing ever. You're gonna get your shit kicked in, it's gonna be great. What the fuck, Nishikawa? I love you, Nishiki. I don't. He's he's from uh I don't have a good feeling about him right now. Well Nishikiyama. The, for the purposes of this game, he's your best fucking friend. Okay. In in Yaku's the one that may be different, but <laughs> I go get laid, Kiryu. Yeah. I don't like to get laid. <laughs> <laughs> I there is no evidence that Kiryu has ever like Kiryu even knows what sex is. I have I have not That's seen a crime. How I have fucking not seen, gorgeous he is. Not seen any bit of proof that Kiryu knows what sex is. He goes on dates and he meets up with girls and he just helps them be better people. And he helps them be better people. And then they're like in this game. I think you can go on dates and and meet up with them. And there, if you finish their quest line, it'll be like, "Ooh, you, d you know, let me thank you." But they just like what that entails is it just like unlocks the because the weird softcore porn that this game has, right? Yeah. It unlocks one of those. And I think I like. There's no direct evidence that they're actually having sex. And Kiri's daughter is adopted. Kiryu has never fucked! There's no proof! <laughs> mm. <Duh. laughs> I will say, uh, that this... Despite the fact that this game... Like, okay. Because they put out, um... I haven't played... 3 yet. It's technically out, but I like physical copies of media because I'm weird and an old man. So I haven't played it yet because that's not out as of the time of this recording. Uh, same with... I've seen an LP of 4, but I haven't actually played it myself, and then anything beyond that I haven't played, I've just heard a few things. Uh, but Kiwami 2 was made using the same engine as uh, Yakuza 6, I believe? And I actually really like the way that the models look in this game, 
which is this is technically a scaled up PS3 game. But I like the way that everyone looks in this better than the more recent one because they look like he looks a little stiff and weird here, but it looks fine. Whereas, like, like they still have the same kind of weird, awkward stiffness of video game characters, but their models look even better, and they have like. Like, you can see the pores on their face and shit. And it, like, it's just weird, and I I don't like it as much. Huh.